Hello. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. Um, so, right, sorry, guys, I forgot to take my laptop with me. <laughs> when I went away for Christmas. Never mind. Um, I, I mean, I could have done something on the phone, but it would, that would have been a bit sort of tinny and, you know. So I wanted to wait until I got back. Thank you very much for the extra subscribers. They're still coming in, I notice. Do keep an eye on these things. Um, so, basically, the entire establishment is fucking corrupt. Right. That's been proven time and again on this channel over many different government bodies. I just want to quickly do this bit um, from the Hunt's Post, which is the story I've done before about Jason Abelwhite, because we've got it online. Um, investigation into explicit message allegations could take months to complete. Why? Right? When I sent hurty word text messages to the bailiff, um, the, the police said they had the messages there. Uh, this woman he was harassing, had, uh, it's been stated that she screenshot the messages. So they've got the messages there. That was enough for them to give it to the CPS to see if it could be taken to court. In my case, obviously, not hers, apparently. Um, fast forward a bit to more present time when I called the uh, professional standards um, vile, um, psychotic, narcissistic scum. Um, they've got those emails. So now they're going to charge me with malicious communication because they've got the emails that that's all they need because they've probably forwarded that to the CPS already, you see. So why is it going to take fucking months to investigate that? It's not. And why aren't the police investigating it? Hmm. Now it's the IOPC because, do you know why? Because you're protecting your mate because you're all a bunch of Nazi fucking dictators, right? So, yeah, great. Just fucking prove it. IOPC and police, just fucking prove you're not the slightest bit interested in law and order. Because as soon as it comes to one of your mates, oh, it's all different fucking rules then, isn't it? Hmm. So basically, even we've established that the credit analysis companies are corrupt because basically a private firm called Lowell and other firms of a similar nature of business are actually the ones giving people CCJs because no one in the courts or fuck all uh, checks any of the paperwork. Uh, when things like my case go to court, uh, you get put in front of a judge at the Crown Court, who in my case was called Judge Enright, who tells you not to give any fucking evidence, right? not to contact the court, not to speak to any fucking court personnel. No, none of that allowed. So you're not allowed to give evidence in court. Yeah, The CPS, well, they aren't allowed to speak to me. And I'm not allowed to make a complaint against the police anymore. I've got to go through the IOPC, who told me to contact the police to make a complaint. Since then, right, because this was only a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I've heard nothing. The IOPC are not the slightest bit interested in taking a complaint against the police that Sergeant McFillier face said that the five officers, fucking five, who came around with their bailiff mate, validated that warrant and said it was legit. Morrison's, before that, had said they could kick my fucking front door in. Right, and basically haul me off and do whatever. Right. Then they didn't kick my fucking front door in, despite knocking on the door for twenty seven fucking minutes. Yeah, this is all going back to May eighteenth. Right? Because now, Inspector fucking Perky or whatever your fucking name was, you've said didn't have the warrant to kick your door in. Oh, what a surprise. So Marston's are lying bastards then. But if I want to make a complaint about the bailiffs, I have to go to the bailiffs. Yeah, because they're not going to cover it up at all, are they? <sighs> the council, in the meantime, are enjoying the, the yield of 25 years worth of theft in the public purse from 1984 until 2009. And they not only enjoyed that, they not only enjoyed having luxury cars in a car park and taking free holidays every year at the expense of yours truly, the taxpayer, what they're also enjoying is out-and-out -out protection from Cambridge fucking police, who, as we all know, because I've just gone into, are utterly fucking bent. I mean, it's fantastic. Right to your MP. They don't give a flying fuck. It's not their job. That's what Jonathan Fuckface Ginogli said. It's not my job to investigate 25 years worth of theft from the public purse committed by Huntingdonshire District Council employees. Well, whose fucking job is it then, John? Because the police aren't interested. The IOPC aren't interested. Professional standards aren't interested. Council certainly aren't interested. 
HM Inspector at Constabulary isn't the slightest bit fucking interested that the police aren't doing their fucking job. Guess it all comes down to you, Boris. Well done on winning that election, by the way. You've got five years of me. Chief Constable Alec Wood, who personally put his name to a court summons when I hadn't been charged or arrested with any offence, or at least if I was, I'm still waiting to see the proof of that, before I was also dragged off by the coppers to stand in front of one of their fucking bought and paid for fucking magistrate mates and then judge mates, but before being told I wasn't allowed to give any fucking evidence at all. I don't suppose the MP would be interested in that either, would he? Complete dictatorship, that's what we fucking want. That is what they want, guys. That's what they're getting. They're getting complete fucking dictatorship because you're not allowed to question the police or complain to the police or provide any fucking evidence in court or have any of your complaints fucking taken seriously by fucking anyone. So, again, John, fucking Jonathan Ginogli, fuckface Nazi dictator, whose job is it to investigate... Theft, which has been proven, by the way, because the district auditor Price Waterhouse Coopers said the money had been stolen. Whose job is it? You bunch of Nazi fucking dictators. Fucking hell. Listen, Happy New Year, guys. I'm sure I'll be back on soon. That's if I'm not being kidnapped by the fucking Stasi. And remember, if I suddenly die... The police have fucking murdered me.